Hello guys, welcome to Swen. I'm Joey and let's just get into it. Two weeks ago, me, Jack, and Chaplin went to the New Hampshire Businesses for Social Responsibility up in Concord, and here's some of the interviews that we got from there. Hello, everybody. A couple weeks ago, Jack, Joey, and myself attended the New Hampshire Businesses for Social Responsibility Spring Conference. In said conference, different businesses were giving their ideas on how to use their influence to construct a better environment for New Hampshire. After the first couple speeches, we were able to get some interviews. So here's the one Jack did with James McKim. What we do is we help organizations reach what we call their ignition point, which is the alignment of people, process, and technology. That's amazing. What does this conference mean to you? Well, to me, this conference means an opportunity to meet with people who are like-minded, who are really interested in making sure that our society is better, and learning how our businesses, the businesses that we run, can contribute to the growth and the benefit of society. That's great. And so have you been doing a lot of networking today? I have been doing networking, meeting a few new people, and we're chatting with people with whom I already know. It's, it's just a great opportunity to get together uh, outside of our own business uh, work to, to be with folks who are like-minded. Afterwards, Jack did another interview with Richard Ober, CEO of the New Hampshire Charitable Foundation. So here it is now. We are a foundation that makes grants to nonprofit organizations and scholarship awards to students all focused on New Hampshire to make New Hampshire a more livable, a place where everyone can thrive. What does this conference mean to you? So we've been sponsoring this conference for several years. We believe that the business community in New Hampshire, their success depends on New Hampshire being a place where we have a clean environment, where students have access to education so they can be productive employees of the future, where the social challenges of our state can be addressed in partnership with business as they also look to make their products, serve their customers, um, and be good corporate citizens. Lastly, I got the chance to interview Rebecca Henderson, author of the book, Reimagining Capitalism in a World on Fire. So here it is. What gave you the uh, motivation to write this book? The world's on fire. The world's on fire? Yeah, I mean. I mean, is there anything specific that made you want to write a book about it, or? Any specific events? Or? So I spent the first 20 years of my career studying innovation in large organizations. And about 15 years ago, large energy companies started showing up in my office talking about the climate transition. And at the same time, my brother, who's a freelance environmental journalist, started to send me some of the science around climate change. And I thought, like, whoa, there's really something going on here. You know, I've always been passionate about the natural world. Yeah. And the thought that one of the things climate change is going to do is, is kill a lot of the trees mm -hmm. was heartbreaking. And then I started finding out about the effects it's going to have on people and communities and health. Mm -hmm. I think it's really important to talk about how we can make progress while not really disrupting our lives. So people sometimes think if we react to climate change, it means we're going to be you know, eating beans and sitting on a dirt floor and have no lights to turn on. Mm -hmm. Um, we have the technology to make the transition relatively painless. Uh, renewable energy is now cheaper than fossil fuel uh, power in many parts of the world. And we have a good sense of how to transition away from gas and use electric vehicles instead. Mm -hmm. In many ways, that world would be a cleaner, safer, more pleasant world. Mm -hmm. So I think it's really important to help people understand that this is not a sort of, oh my god, everything's going to end. No, we'll get rid of the smog, we'll get rid of the asthma, we'll get rid of the millions of deaths from mm -hmm. burning fossil fuels. But this is going to be a good world we're moving into. Mm -hmm. I think action at the community level is really important mm -hmm. because business can do a lot. That's what my book's about. But a lot is about bringing people together to think about in their community, how do we make it more adaptable, more sustainable, more resilient? 
because climate change is going to happen. It's too late to you know, stop it happening yeah. altogether. So it's really important that communities think about flood resistance, drought resistance, uh, what happens when it starts to get really quite a lot hotter. And that's it. Thank you for everyone who came on and huge thanks to Mr. Rogers for giving us this amazing opportunity. That's all from me. Now back to you, Joey. Thanks, guys. And now, here's Question of the Week with Jack. Hello, everybody, and welcome to Question of the Week. My name is Jack, and today, because summer is right around the corner and I'm really thinking about ice cream, I figured I should go around the cafeteria and Mulligan's asking everybody what their favorite ice cream flavor is. Let's get into this. All right, Emily, what's your favorite ice cream flavor? My favorite ice cream flavor is mint chocolate chip. Awesome pick, that's a classic. I'd say chocolate chip cookie dough. Nice. Yeah. Uh, black raspberry. French vanilla, all the way. Awesome pick, have a great day. Mine is coffee. Awesome. Mine's gotta be mint chocolate chip. Lone Oaks black raspberry ice cream. That's an awesome pick. Favorite. Mint chocolate chip. Awesome pick, that's a classic. Yep. Mr. Vending Machine, what is your favorite ice cream flavor? Cookies and cream. <laughs> yes, very interesting. Say hi to your mother for me. All right, Maya, what's your favorite ice cream flavor? Mint chocolate chip. Classic. Whoa, that was awesome. Thanks so much to everybody who came on. I scream, you scream, we all scream for ice cream, and that was just great to talk to everybody about their favorite frozen snacks. Now, before we wrap up, I'd like to shout out two of my favorite ice cream flavors, those being Blue Moon and Superman, both really awesome fruity flavors that are very enjoyable. But that's gonna have to wrap it up for question of the week. Until next time, I will see you on the flip side. Peace out, Boy Scout. Now it's Nick with sports. this day would never come. It's my last ever sports segment with you guys. So I'm gonna, do you guys actually think I'm sad? I'm electric right now, guys. Let's cook this. What's up, guys? Welcome to sports. I'm QB1. Let's run this, baby. So first off, on Monday, your Summersworth girls softball team will be playing against the Hillsboro Daring at the high school. And also on Monday, your baseball team will be traveling to Campbell as well. So, you know, after this, I have no track news for you guys, but I want to say this to you guys. Thank you for like being there for me since the beginning. Honestly, I wouldn't be here without your guys' support. The channel wouldn't be here without your guys' support. And I really am thankful, but don't, but I think, I have a lot more to say on my last ever episode in a few weeks. It's just a little thing now. See you on question next week. I'm gonna say it. Raiders country, Hilltoppers country, let's ride. Good job, Nick. And now here's a brief intermission. Now here's JMO with weather. This week is our final week in Mulligans and we will be having a fan favorites menu. So come down and order your favorite. Enjoy eating what you love. Molly Gibson. And now me with recommendations.
He has a fun there, pal. Hello, welcome to Recommendations, and I'm here with... William. What is a game you recommend? I recommend um, Ark Survival Vault. I recommend Sonic Adventure 2 because my friend Vinny made a video about it, and I'm in the video, and it's pretty cool. Why do you recommend Ark Survival Vault? You know, um, when you're having a tough time, you're having a tough day, you get to grind, and you get your mind off things, you know? very satisfying. For a movie, I recommend Sonic the Hedgehog 3 that's coming out this December because Vinny made a bootleg trailer. I'm also in. It's bad. What, what movie do you recommend? I recommend Rise of the Planets of the Apes. Why? Because um, like the symbolism of animals are not test subjects. They're actual animals and they'll act as animals. They'll act like they'll act as who they are. And for food, I recommend applesauce because my friend Lucas really loves applesauce. Applesauce! And then for a drink, I recommend apple juice because kangaroos really love apple juice. Cool. Right. Right. Oh. 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 Oh.